talk about a really cool giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you watch the entire thing so that you can have a chance to win what I'm giving away because you definitely don't want to miss it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Darien is Fishing. I'm freezing out here. I hate this cold, uh, but we're going to be happy. We're going to fight through it. On this video, I'm going to show you some tackle that you don't need to miss out on. Uh, I've shown it a little bit, but we're going to show some more of it. And go over a little bit about my recent trip to Venice, which you're not going to see any videos on my channel from. Uh, and I'll let you know why about that. But as for now, uh, I had to come out here to the lake, by the way. I had to come out on this point. It's super windy. I hope you can hear the audio. But I had to walk out on this point just because I haven't been on the freaking lake in so long. I sold my boat uh, about four weeks ago now. And freaking missing it, man. I need to get my Pawpaw's boat, go fishing with Andrew some more. I've been fishing with Andrew maybe two more times, but we didn't catch crap, so there's no videos of it. But anyhow, out here on the lake, I freaking love this lake. I can tell the water's got a lot cleaner since the last time I was here. I know what I need to do. I need to come fish from the freaking bank. I've never fished from the bank on this lake before. So tomorrow, I think I need to try that. Huh. I'm gonna try that, I've never done that. I've literally never fished from the bank on this lake before. So tomorrow, I'm gonna come stand right here. I'm gonna shoot a video, maybe. Maybe I won't catch any, but at least I'll try it. I'll just fish this little harbor. Like I've always been in the harbor, but just because that's where a lot of tournaments go out of. But I've never actually fished in the harbor or even this riprap bank, which looks super freaking juicy. As for now, I'm gonna go uh, back to the house so I can explain a couple of things and show you this tackle that you don't need to be missing out on, especially before Christmas or the new year. Okay, so before I even go to the house and tell you about this, uh, the tackle stuff, I'm just gonna tell you about the Venice trip. So a lot of you may or may not know, uh, we went to Venice. The fishing was really, really bad. This cold front that we've got all over the country right now just really screwed the fishing up. It dropped the water temperature a ton. The guides weren't catching a lot of fish and Ultimately, in, in uh, two and a half days, there was three boats, seven guys, I think five or six fish over the, that whole amount of time, which is a ton of fishing, ton of casting. It just all was really bad. Um, so we did not, I didn't, I personally did not film any. I personally did not catch any, but Luke Duncan did. So his video will be coming out. Whenever his video comes out, I'll be sure and share it on my channel um, or at least tell you about it. That way you can see some of the fish catches. But I did have, and I do want to show some of the things that happened to us during travel going to Venice because it was a pretty huge disaster. A lot of things messed up. Luke messed his truck up. Uh, actually, he messed up two trucks on the way to Venice, or one on the way to Venice, one on the way back. But uh, needless to say, it was a lot of fun, although we just didn't catch any fish. But here's a little snippet of some of the things that happened on our way to Venice. So the current status of what we got going on is Luke's truck is jacked. Yeah, to say the least. It's really jacked. Luke's truck, something has happened to it. So we have pulled over in Laurel, Mississippi. Four hours from Venice, trucks broke down. But luckily we found a place here to, uh, it's not really a rental car place, but they're fixing to rent us the Suburban. This uh, turn signal bulb was out right here. Oh, okay. Get... How much gas we got? Mm, quarter of a tank. I broke every law in Mississippi right then. Did they put a two inch lift on it from the factory? Yeah. Only 42 days till Christmas. You don't want any of this side, right? Four inch queen cockahoe minnow. I don't know, cockahoe boy. Can't buy that much bass tackle for $100. You buy this much bass tackle at Academy, it's a $700 sack right here. Get your life right, bass fishing world. All right, so we've made it to the ship to the uh, to the cabin. We've got a little room in here. I don't think anybody's still here. Room in there. Room in here. Bunk room in here. There's your bathroom. There's your living room. Kitchen with all the drinks. And the coolest thing about this place is we are literally on the water in Venice Marina on a houseboat. So I'll take you to the side, and you can see all these houses are built on barge platforms. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, it was a lot of fun. Anytime going to a travel place like that, 
a bucket list fishery. It's a lot of fun. Regardless if you catch fish or not, obviously catching fish makes it more fun, but sometimes the fish just don't bite. There's nothing you can do about it. On this particular trip, there was nothing we could do about it, but we kept our heads high and uh, didn't get too discouraged. So anyhow, now I'm actually gonna head to the house and show you the best way to save money on tackle this season. Um, whether you're buying a, you know, whether you wanna be buying a gift for someone for Christmas, you know, just you wanna save money for yourself. Uh, also, I'm gonna be giving a bunch of them away. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you at the house in just a second. This video is going to be me unboxing this package that I got from Six Cents in the mail today. Six Cents Super Six bag. Um, I'm gonna black this screen out. Yeah, Six Cents Super Six bag. And uh, this is something that obviously I've talked about in a couple videos, but I wanna talk about it again. And I'm gonna talk about it every time. This one's gonna be more of an unboxing style video, but I, I wanted to go through this bag and why this thing is special and um, some of the benefits that you get by subscribing to the Super Six, Six Sense Super Six bag. Man, I gotta check something. So the Super Six box has three options, standard, premium, and tailored. The standard is $20.99 a month, the premium is $33.99 a month, and the tailored is $39.99 a month. But if you sign up monthly, I'm gonna put this thing up on the screen, like the kind of the breakdown of how everything goes. I'll put that on the screen now. And basically you can see like the different packages, the different plans, but, um, and, and how the pricing breaks down. But quickly, I just wanted to go through this super six box that I got in the mail today, I haven't, I haven't even looked through it yet. The last one that I got had six uh, crankbaits in it, like hard, different, different hard baits in it. So I wanted to go through, this is the six cents premium box. If you use the code DC, capital DC, super six, you'll save yourself $10 off your first box, which would make this $20.99, I believe, if my math's right. Yeah, $20.99 if you sign up for the 12 month version. And I promise you, this is the best tackle uh, deal that you can buy on the internet. This is the most bang for your buck with quality and like super high quality tackle that you can get. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'll do it one by one. First thing is a Cloudine Mini Mag Square Bill. Uh, silent and this is wild shad. So this one's a little bit bigger than the 100 size square bill that Six Sense makes. It's called a mini mag. Um, it's it's just a, it's not a gigantic crankbait, but it is a little bit bigger body. This one's silent. Gizzard shad get way bigger. This is just a good imitator of that. Next up, we've got Six Sense Quake Thud 70. This color is Jungle Rose. It's a one knocker style, it's a lipless crankbait. Um, this one is, what's that say, what's it? Jungle Rose. Absolutely killer color for pre-spawn, like the winter pre-spawn. Um, some people use this in the spring. I mostly use this in pre-spawn. Absolutely beast color for any lake that has grass, especially Gunnersville lakes like Sam Rayburn, Pickwick, uh, Toledo Bend. Any lakes where there's a lot of grass, even in Florida. Uh, so far, these two baits are killers for Gunnersville. But I'm gonna keep moving on. Here we have a crankbait that I don't have yet from Six Sense. This is the Crush Mini 25X. And this is actually exciting to me because one, I don't have this. Two, I've been talking about fishing ponds more, especially right now because I don't have a boat. And three, I also talked earlier in some of my videos about me not throwing bluegill color crankbaits enough. This is a tiny itty bitty little square bill. It's not a crappie size. It is not a crappie size. That's a bass size square bill. I'm sure you're gonna catch a lot of different things on this bait. Um, this is something that's perfect for a beginner or someone who wants to go pond fishing. You know, if you're, if I was going to the lake and I had someone else with me who's a beginner, I would tie this on for them. Probably put this on a spinning rod. It's a quarter ounce. I, I, tomorrow I'm gonna have it rigged up on a light bait caster, but I'm guessing this is gonna be made for, I don't know, it's not that small. Quarter ounce you can throw on a bait caster. Just probably like a six, nine medium, 
on maybe 10 pound line. That's gonna be a really cool crankbait. I'm super excited about that. I'm actually gonna start with that tomorrow when I go to Gunnersville and fish from the bank. So far we got four square bills. I'm sorry, two square bills, one lipless crankbait. Now we've got a jig. Oh, there's more jigs. Hey, we got three jigs. Divine hybrid jig, half ounce. Divine swim jig, quarter ounce. Divine underspin, half ounce. Divine hybrid jig. I like the way that six cents keeps these skirts super nice. They have that rubber band on them. Super easy to pull them off. A Little bit of flare of the skirt and they are ready to go fishing. Once you get these jigs out on the water one time, that skirt kind of breaks up and acts normal, but awesome color. That's just kind of a standard uh, green pumpkin with blue and a little bit of crawl. I think the colors will vary uh, person to person, like different boxes will have different colors. I don't think all the colors are gonna be the same. So if you get this one, you're probably gonna have a different color but I believe that the jigs will stay the same or the baits, the, at least the baits will stay the same. I do think the colors change though. Now we've got the Divine Swim Jig, which I, I think I've only got one six cent swim jig. And I don't think I've ever even used it. It's quarter ounce, it's got a screw lock, it's a shad color. Uh, one good thing about a swim jig is that you typically have a lighter brush guard because a lot of times you're pumping the jig, you're using your rod to help make the action of the bait. And so sometimes you'll get a bite while you're doing all this crazy pumping action and you don't want a heavy weed guard when you're doing that because sometimes it's hard to set the hook and sometimes you get a weird hook set. With a lighter weed guard, it does not take much to set the hook. Last jig, we've got a Divine Underspin. This is a super, super awesome bait for a lot of different things. In the winter time, um, an underspin is just a go-to for a lot of people um, all over the country for many different applications. You can put a fluke on the back of it, fish it slow with not a lot of action, or you can put a swim bait on the back of it with like a boot tail swim bait and have it with a lot of action and you got some flash on it. So super awesome bait, half ounce, gonna get down deep. You can be able to keep it. If you're doing a steady retrieve, you're gonna be able to keep it easily. Um, whatever depth of the water column you want to, your rod tip's gonna help control that. You can easily keep it at five foot if that's where you wanna keep it or let it fall to the bottom. Keep your rod tip down and reel a little bit slower. You can easily keep it down, you know, 20 foot if you wanna keep it that deep. So. Super awesome bait. And then the last thing in this bag is a six cents uh, gray rod sleeve. I actually don't have one of these yet. Um, hmm, smells good. Uh, it's, uh, I, first thing I'm noticing is it's neoprene. It is heavy freaking duty. There's a drawstring cord on it. And it's got a super nice like raised rubber um, patch on it. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that or like if it's going to focus good on that. But this thing is heavy freaking duty. Uh, it's got a little tie on the top of it. I'm imagining so you could hang it on something if you had a, you know, if you had these just hanging in your shop. A good way to organize them. Maybe hang it on a nail. Uh, neoprene. This thing is extremely durable. I bet you that hooks don't hang up in it very easily. Oh, that's sick. That's actually really sick. Okay, so the hook, the hook barely will like, you know, like with a, I use rod gloves and I love rod gloves. I'm not gonna talk bad about it, but this thing is cool. The hook point, like you, it gets caught on it, but you know on a rod glove, like I'm actually, you can see it's it, the the point doesn't go in it that hard. Uh, a rod glove. You get them hook points in a rod glove, it goes all the way through, then you gotta figure out how to get it back out. Uh, I can already tell I'm gonna like that. Anyhow, that's really cool. I carry all this stuff outside of the shop. I'll see you guys out there in a second. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I just quickly wanted to show all of you the Six Cents Super Six bag, or this is says box on it, but more of a bag. Um, absolutely the best deal that you can get on fish and tackle, just a super good price. It's uh, 39, I'm sorry, it's 30.99, or there's different prices depending on the length of time you sign up. The best thing to do, dead honesty, is sign this up for a year. I think it costs 360, or if you do a, 
doing half a year or a year. Don't just do one month of this. Give it a year, give it a half a year. Um, it's, a, it's a couple hundred bucks, but the money that you're gonna save in the future buying tackle or not buying tackle because you bought this uh, is substantial. Again, use the code DC Super 6 to save yourself $10 on the very first box. And I'm gonna show you just one more time in here with different lighting. I'm gonna show you what this is all about. Again, so it's got a cool bag, and these are gonna come with different bags. This is the only bag available. Um, but you got all this stuff in here. You got Divine Underspin. You got a Divine Hybrid Jig. You got a Divine Swim Jig. You got a Quake Thud 70. You got a Mini Mag. You got a Crush Mini 25, which is a little bitty tiny square bill. It's a quarter ounce. And you have this freaking sick nylon uh, rod sleeve, whatever you want to call it, rod glove type deal. Uh, it's super thick, much more durable than like a standard rod glove. Okay, let's try this. Like so. Fits there. Then the drawstring kind of goes on the top reel handle. Oh yeah, that's freaking money. It just fits over it like that, and then you pull up to make it tighter. So now this rod glove, dude, that is dialed in freaking the money. See, this is one of those things. This is the reason that those monthly subscriptions are really awesome, is I'm sponsored by Six Cents. I don't have one of those, and truth be told, I haven't even considered buying one of them. I, just when I get my, I got kind of an allowance to buy tackle with, and honestly, when I got it, I just thought of tackle. Like I didn't think to order. I didn't think to order those. So this is exactly a perfect reason uh, why getting one of those monthly subscription boxes is worth it. And for thirty dollars a month, if you sign up for twelve months or maybe twenty nine ninety nine a month. But anyhow, um, super good deal, especially when you can save ten dollars off with my code DC Super Six and. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna to go out and film a, uh, I guess, a challenge video, if you will. I'm gonna use just the stuff that's in this box. I'm gonna rig them up and see if I can come up with some fish out of uh, just using this stuff. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The last thing I wanted to talk about is I'm giving away, if I can get to 30,000 subscribers before December the 31st, I'm giving away one year worth of that box right there, a super six box uh, by six cents. I'm giving away one year for free to one lucky subscriber. Uh, all you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel to have a chance to win. So uh, comment down below if you already are signed up for whether it be the six cents Super Six box or any other subscription based box. Comment down below which one you have and why you have it. Why do you like it? What, what's, the, what's the reason that you have it? What are you looking for when you get this? Is it to try a new tackle, to try a good tackle, to try random tackle? What is it that you're looking for in a monthly subscription box? Um, drop a comment down below on that. But anyhow, so that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one.